Good morning and good evening. My name is Eastman. Welcome back to another unboxing, guys. Today is the first day of 2021. <laughs> Can we just get a round of applause, please? For real, this has been the craziest year. 2020 was insane, and I'm sure all of you are just as excited, if not more so, as I am, to kick off a brand new year with a clean slate. Guys, I am so excited for 2021, especially for the channel, and let me explain why. I have a ton of brand new exclusive unboxing content planned for 2021. So guys, if you're excited, let's go ahead and get this video to 70 likes to help support the channel. Now, if you guys watched my last unboxing that I did uh, at the end of last year, I opened up a brand new 4K Blu-ray player. If you're into that sort of thing, link will be in the description below. So, let's get right into the first unboxing of 2021, guys. Here we go. What I have for you today, guys, is the physical copy of the Pathless for the PS5. Now, fun fact, <clears throat> um, I don't own a PS5. Um, because they're they're being sold out everywhere as I'm sure you all know It's basically impossible to get your hands on a ps5 right now So I decided just to get arguably my favorite game that I've played in 2020 since I have a ps4 pro I decided to go ahead and download uh, The digital copy one of my all-time favorite ps4 games was this right here abzu guys if you have not played this indie game it is beautiful it is incredible it is such a great experience so this game was made by the developers giant squid as you see right here at the bottom it is just a cinematic masterpiece it's such a beautiful journey it reminds me of the game journey it's similar to that art style the music is beautiful and the visuals are just stunning and it's gorgeous so when i heard that giant squid was going to come out with a new game their second game ever uh, I knew I had to get my hands on it. You see it right there, guys. Giant Squid has come back with this amazing title. And like I said, I've already played through the whole thing, guys. I couldn't wait any longer. It was gorgeous. And I can only imagine how beautiful the art is going to be on the PS5. With the full-fledged 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray disc, I mean, it's going to look incredible. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and break the seal, baby. Wow, that opens up so nice. Wow, I did not expect that. I thought it was gonna come out in all kinds of pieces and stuff. I was not ready for that. Look at that beautiful seal. That is by far the easiest seal broken on this channel. <laughs> and what a way to kick off 2021. There we go, the Pathless for the PS5. It looks beautiful and I cannot wait to put it on my shelf already. There you see it right there, guys. I am 8-Bit. They are a company like Limited Run Games as well that put out a lot of indie games and a lot of unheard titles on physical copies. And guys, that's the kind of stuff I appreciate because most of the games I play are indies. And the fact that they will put games like these out here for us to play on a physical copy, it just it makes my day. So let's go ahead and open it for the first time. I think there's some goodies in here, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh... <laughs> Oh my god, yes there is. Look at this disc! Oh my god, look at that. So, I'm gonna be real with you guys for a second. Uh, the end of this game made me cry a little bit, honestly. It was beautiful. You build such a strong bond with your eagle, and it just it ties so nicely into the story. Let's take this out real quick and set it aside. But wow, it's sealed. This is sealed too. This is really cool. I didn't expect this to actually be sealed. I thought it was just going to be slid in there. Wow, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and break this seal as well. There we go. Nice and easy. Love it, love it, love it. All right. All right, let's take a look at these photo prints. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at that. That is beautiful art right there. Wow. Next. Oh, man. Whoa. This one's kind of mysterious and scary looking, though. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's the beginning of the game. This is the actual first thing you see. The hunter that you're playing as, you're on a boat sailing to this island. That is gorgeous. Look at that. All right. Ooh. Oh, man. That is badass. So if you don't already know, the God Slayer is the big, bad antagonist of this game. And, of course, he's spreading his darkness around the entire island. And he ends up converting all these pure spirits into demon monsters that you have to fight uh, like bosses through the game. And this is the first one, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. Wow, look at that art. Oh, my God. 
Wow, it takes me back. I just want to go ahead and play this game again right now. <laughs> and guys, if you've already played the Pathless like me, go ahead and leave some of your favorite moments down in the comments below. Oh man, that's gorgeous. I think this is the last one, yeah. Look at that art though. That is so beautiful. Wow, okay. So let's take one final look at the rest of these postcards. So this is what it comes with. Just the regular edition you can buy on Amazon or Walmart and Target, all of that stuff. I know there's another I am 8-bit edition that's like exclusive to their store or something with an alternate art cover and maybe some other goodies like a map or something. I can't quite remember. That one's more expensive. That one would have been cool, but to be honest, I prefer the standard art cover. I love this cover right here. This is what I saw while I played the game and it was on my PS4 dashboard. So this is the one I'm familiar with. And honestly, guys, I'm just so excited to finally throw it on the shelf. And now I have both giant squid games. So guys, if you're an indie game fan, let me know your favorite indie game down below in the comments, as well as your favorite moments from the pathless. And if you haven't played it yet, I encourage you to start it as soon as possible. It is a cinematic journey that you do not want to miss out on. Again, it was my number one favorite game I played in 2020. And guys, I cannot wait to see what else giant squid comes up with. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing with me today. And if you did, be sure to drop a like down below. And don't forget to light up that comment section, guys. I love hearing your guys' feedback and your support of the channel and answering any questions that you have. I absolutely love it, so please don't forget that. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to consider joining the Eastman Nation today by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And as always, my name is Eastman. Stay tuned for 2021's videos, and I will see you guys in my next unboxing.